trying to give you the real what happened. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, it is the best. No, I've came across these freaking issues, okay? What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Nisha Bryant, and I am doing the long-awaited video. It's been four months since I've had my washer and dryer, and I'm going to give you guys an update. A lot of you guys have been in the comments, okay? I'm going to screen record just really fast just to, to show you guys. And I'm going to do my shout-out because y'all know I like doing my shout-out now. All right, so as you see here, this video has about 23,000 views, okay, plus. And we have about 657 likes and 19 dislikes, which I still love you guys because there is no, no love without no hate. Um, and then we have 145 comments. So unfortunately, I'm just going to start from the top. Um, uh, Miss Brazil said, hey sis, thank you very much for your very thorough review and demo, God bless. God bless you too. As you can see, I like and I comment back to all of your comments all the time. So just make sure that you're sending me those comments. Communicate with me a little bit. Um, Derek said, thank you very much for sharing this video. Great job. Love how your videos show how most people would use this. Love how your video shows how most people will use this i was on the fence with the setup but you sold me one question though are you able to fit a comforter or winter jacket in the drum so i've gotten that question multiple times and i'm just going to show so you guys can just like you know maybe read through all of this but i put my queen size comforter inside the washing machine and when i did that i put it by itself because the washing machine is big yes but it's not meant for you know like big comforters plus clothes so if you put your comforter by itself you know i let it start for a little bit like five minutes and six minutes in i would just pause it open it and push it down a little bit because remember once it gets wet it starts getting like it starts shriveling up and shrinking so it's like if everything is wet, it works better that way. I mean, of course the drum will spin it, which it does, but I wanna make sure that I'm, you know, pressing it in there just to get everything done. So, um, let me just stop the recording, hold on. All right, so after I do that, I'll just let it go and it just does this regular cycle, does this regular thing. Now, what I will say I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the, um, the pod, the soap pod at the bottom before I put in the comforter. Just so when the water gets down there, I know it's soap flowing, even though I pour soap everywhere because you guys know I overdo it. But um, yeah, so I pour the soap in there, I let it get all up in there, I let it wash, I let it rinse. And then again, if you always feel that you put too much soap or that it didn't wash completely, you can just do another rinse cycle or do another wash cycle. It's that simple. Now, as far as putting it inside the dryer, I put mine inside the dryer before. I actually left it in there a little too long. And it kind of like, like got really tight and scrunched up and it kind of lost its texture. I'm not going to lie about that. But um, if you do put it in the dryer, I would say put it in for a little bit. Maybe let the rest air dry. I just let mine air dry so I don't got to go through that again. Or just go to a bigger, um, you can go to a bigger place. But I said a bigger place. You can go to the laundry mat. But honestly, I just let it let it air dry um, any pros and cons like I, i'm not gonna make this video long i did have some cons and i'm not gonna lie about that with the washer so i've had it for about four months maybe about i can say five or six times when it got to a certain amount of time maybe 24 minutes 27 minutes it did stop it just stopped moving like you're here making like mm, but it wasn't moving the water was just sitting there the clothes were just sitting there and at first i was like what the fuck? I broke it? Like, you know? But all you gotta do is really basically just turn it off and turn it back on and start it over again and it goes. Um, but it did happen to me about, I can count like six times. Normally around, it's either around the 24 mark or the 27 mark when I think it's supposed to run. So like, you know, do it sting, drain the water out. But yeah, um, just be careful, watch out for that. But again, if it does happen, it's just something minor. You could just turn the machine off and turn it back on. So out of four months, it's, you know, four weeks in a month, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it only happens to me about five or six times. So the last month, though, it hasn't happened. So I don't know. But um, it could be because I was doing, like, a lot of loads. Maybe I did, like, four loads one day, back to back to back to back to back. Or maybe, like, five loads. But then, you know, for the past month, when I did the three or four loads, it hasn't stopped. So maybe I guess it was just adjusting to it. A lot of you guys are asking about the dents. So the dents in the machine. Someone said, are you sure that you didn't get that dent from dragging it up the steps? I mean, I'm strong. But I'm not Aki strong to where I'm boom, 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 you know, like doing that extra stuff. When I slid it, for an example, let's say this is the steps. 
and this is the machine. The machine comes in a box. All I did was grab the little bob wire that was around the machine and drag it up like this. So it wasn't like, and this is probably a bad demo, but I'm just trying to give you some visuals like this. If you, if you appreciate me trying to do the visuals for you. So it was just like, it wasn't doing that. It was just seamlessly sliding up the steps. That's all that it was doing. So no, I did not create those dents. Some of you guys said that I shouldn't have accepted it. I should have sent it back. Um, I shouldn't have accepted the money. The little bit of money that they gave me, it probably was like 40 something dollars or 50 something dollars back on my purchase. Again, I'll have the links to everything below so you can go see how much it is because the price just changes and varies from day to day. So every time you guys ask me how much it is and I comment, it's either a higher price or a lower price depending on where you got it from. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you guys and you go and check that out. If you've been watching this video this far and you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go check out the first video of my portable washing machine and dryer, right? Okay. Yeah, some of you guys were saying that I shouldn't have accepted like that because the drum will hit against the the outer surface and it may cause a fire, it may cause some friction. It hasn't happened to me yet. I haven't had to I haven't smelled any smoke. I haven't smelled any fire. It's just been making its noise and it does make noise, but again, it's not nothing like, oh my god, it's so loud. It's, it's not that type of party, guys. It was not not that deep. What else would you guys ask? Some of you guys told me to take it apart and, and drum it and like smash it out. I'm not doing that. And I didn't want to send it back because I just dragged it up the steps. In order for me to send it back, I have to drag it back down the steps, probably go find some dolly and roll it all the way to UPS. I'm not doing all that. I'm not that person. I do have a dolly under it. As you guys saw, it came separate. My dolly, I'm not going to lie to you, one of the screws had fell out, so it kind of like collapsed a little bit. But... All I have to do is put the screw back in and bring it back up. And that was just from me tugging it and moving it so fast. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to give you the real what happened. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, it is the best. No, I've came across these freaking issues, okay? The dolly thing did come out. I did put it back on. So that was a quick, a quick easy fix right there. Uh, let me see. Filter. The washing machine filter is easy to clean. For the dryer, though, I could not find the original, you know, the little filter that comes in with it. I had to get a different brand. And um, the brand I got is okay. I'll leave a link to the one I got, the replacement filters. Um, the front filter, you don't really have to change. It's just the back filter you have to change. And sometimes i think twice let me not say sometimes twice the little filter thing has fell off into the dryer while i was washing but you'll be able to hear it going doom, 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 doom. so you'll know like all right something's going on there what what happened did somebody jump in the dryer the filter just fell but mine's only fell off twice and it's just a quick easy snap it back in and fix it if you guys know any good filters for that machine just let me know i didn't i got a generic one off of amazon i think this one was like handmade it's from some people you know i'm i'm all about supporting small businesses but it i don't want to say it doesn't fit it doesn't fit like the original the original one i was able to snap the filter closed with this one it's kind of like a little gap and maybe that's why i fell out twice but to be honest, it's getting a job done, so yeah, I'll leave that below. But if you know any other ones, just let me know. As far as some of you guys asking, does it get really hot in the room when I have the dryer on? It depends. Sometimes it does. If the heat is on, yeah, it's, go it's going to get hot. So you might just want to open up a window. That's what I do, and I just let it flow out like that. A lot of you guys were saying to stop using the dryer sheets because it wasn't good for me, and it wasn't good for in-the-house shoes. And... To be honest, who knows if that's true, but just your concern had me concerned. So I stopped using it and I really, you really don't need it, honestly. I mean, if you have wet clothes, it'll help it dry faster. But again, I'm in the comfort of my own home. I don't have to worry about like sitting in the laundromat watching it. I can go lay down and sometimes take a nap and wake back up and it'll be dry. So I just stopped using the dryer sheets. But thank you guys for letting me know that. Thank you guys for all the information that you provided for me. And thank you for commenting back and letting me know. But yeah, this was just a four month. So again, would I still recommend this? My answer is gonna have to be, yes, I would still recommend this. It's just the ease of it. It's just so, so easy to just go in my kitchen and do my laundry and then go in my living room and do the drying portion and still be in the comfort of my own home not cold not in somebody's laundromat you're saving money yeah you have to do more loads but come on you're at home like what 
it, it's just easier and you're saving money you can put 300 down on this washing machine 250 down on this dryer five something you're saving way more than you would save and you can wash and dry anytime you want that is the plus so that is just my quick video on the update i love this i do recommend this of course if i move into a bigger apartment or a bigger house i would get a bigger washer machine but just for portable small apartment living this thing is getting it. it's hitting okay it is hitting and i want to make sure i didn't forget anything else oh and when you're washing someone asks me do i leave the faucet up like leave it running yes you do you want to leave it running for the spin cycle and for the rinse cycle at all times once you've done your last spin and rinse then you can shut it off and turn it down all right thank you guys for watching i'll maybe do since this is a four month i'll do an eighth month update for you guys if you want that just let me know if i missed any questions just drop it below and i'll answer and i will see you guys in my next video bye